Hey everybody, it's the last Robokai here, and it is time for more of Fate Samurai Remnant. And, uh, I confirmed after the end of the last episode, this is indeed the shit hitting the fan. We are getting so many things happening today, uh, and on top of all of that, we are formally learning the identity of another servant. Oh ho! Like, like we we were we were promised something was happening with uh, with that last last episode. It didn't quite pay off, and I was just like, I'm not sure, man. Well, like we we met it. We met. I promised we were going to meet a caster. I didn't. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. And, yeah. And we met a caster. We, we didn't we meet did. the caster that's going to make you want to die. That particular caster's coming later. Uh, <laughs> Great. That's cooking, looking by forward the way, everybody. to it. <laughs> trust, trust me, trust me. It's it's coming, but we got to get through this Ugh. first. We're probably still like two, two episodes ish away from meeting that character. You know, the the dread can rise okay. for a little so, bit. Okay, so I, I I've got I've got a little bit more uh, more time to prepare myself for wanting to commit suicide. Got it. Absolutely. So let's get stuck straight in. Yep, so we're pretty much starting where we left off before. We've we've met we've met Todoroki, and uh, well, we now have to move on to Kanagawa Port. Okay. So it's uh the 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 it's kind of like a continuation of the first one. <laughs> we're still on the same turn count. We still have Aria, and um. Yeah, we can summon. We can summon, you know, Rogue Saber. We can't do it right now because uh, we don't have enough affinity gauge, and of course, like Ryder also got like unsummoned because we like brought her along as well. But don't worry, we can fix that. It's interesting that uh, that there's a, bo a bonded field, bounded field that isn't breakable, but the primary objective is. <laughs> like sugar wafers just, that just raise your affinity gauge. <laughs> I just went, um, yum, 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 just like just gulped down everything. Outstanding. Not that we, I think we were really gonna need that many moves to finish it. It's just Frickin like it's the hell. There were. Because we got because we got a couple of those major places. It's really like remember time, every major like location you grab, the big circles that boosts your turns by like another five. So we've grabbed about three of them along the way. We're we're pretty safe. Yeah, no joke. Holy mother! Aha! Okay, there it is. There's the wrinkle. Uh, like that. There's the buried lead. Ninchuasuriuste,所以一時に隠蔽魔術をかけておったようじゃ。だが、一度見えればどうということはない。より、大所せよ。Now it's heating up. Yeah, no, no big deal. We can, uh... We can and set saber. With... We we can set both sabers on uh, <laughs> on our enemies. I'm just deciding if I want to go backwards to take care of it or not. So I'm still thinking about it. But what I'm instead going to do is take myself up here and work my way down. Okay. Yeah, like that makes a lot of sense. Like I was sitting here one, uh, wondering exactly how much extra extra oomph you needed to pierce that bonded field, because if if you Took care of that bounded field, then uh, then you would have you would have been able to roll up the entire thing. Yeah, darting. Track, and it also basically sets me uh, against them trying to do exactly the same yep. thing, which is basically run up my back line and back cap me. I was I was I was afraid they were going to do that. Actually, I was like, there's absolutely no way they're not going to use uh, use a thing that increases their actions. Come on, chump. It's kind of the reverse of, like, last time where I did something cool by accident. This time you could actually tell I was thinking about it and did it, like, intelligently. <laughs> yep. That was pretty much, like, like that, that was that was pretty much exactly what I would have done in, uh, done in that situation. But, of, like, strict, usual, usually in the, uh, these sorts of, these sorts of games, the, the enemy has exactly one nasty trick. If you blunt that nasty trick, 
you can roll them up. You can roll them up really easy. The only question, the question is, what is most efficient? But um, the way this is, the way this game is set up, it's uh, it's it favors going uh, going in and having just a head-on collision like this. Just fine. That's great. Have a head-on collision. It's perfect. On the, and on the plus side as well, like, what the enemy does to sort of wrinkle your plans is quite varied, because they have exactly the same mystic codes you do. So they can use Earth Arts to travel up that line. They can use Darting Dragon to move rapidly across. So they, I don't think they get some of the, the really funny ones, um, which allow you to, like, like, just, like, capture an entire sprawl of uncaptured locations. But the game just lets them do that sometimes. I was gonna say, <laughs> like, are we are we talking <laughs> uncaptured? Are we talking neutral? Yeah, neutral. There's like there's okay. one that basically just lets you grab like an entire like web of neutral ones. It's kind of handy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. Well, there's a guy, a bunch of ogres coming towards Todoroki, so, uh... Yeah, you're gonna need to handle that, or, uh, or both sabers could potentially get cut off. I have enough affinity that saber could take care of it, but it's, it's a matter of, uh... It's a matter of personal honor at this point. It's the principle of the thing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna move three times in a turn. Screw you guys, you're going home! We, we sort of reached the point in the game where using Iori is actually a lot more fun than using Servants, though he does do as much damage. He's just got such a large toolkit of silly things he can do, in terms of spells and attacks and stances and... You know, I was thinking something similar, but I hadn't quite come up with the language to express it yet. Because, I'll uh, like... It seems like, uh, like Iori does more, even though it takes him longer to accomplish it. And you 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 summed it up re uh, really quite nicely. Is that yeah? He's got a he's got a a much nicer toolkit. It's just that you know his his freaking um, his freaking damage is so low compared uh, compared to the servants. You know he's got the optical effects to mitigate that. He and uh, he and he and Saber can do team attacks together. He can call upon like servants to, to do stuff. It's like he's just got he's got way more. Like yeah, like this is fun. Like this will never not be fun. Musoing the hell just, out of everybody. You're you're two shotting these chumps. <laughs> that that last little move just shuffling around trying to figure out a way a way out of this just dude just just be like oh no and throw yourself down li uh, like an injured an injured soccer player at that point so debating if i'm just gonna like yeah i was gonna say like are you meet meeting up with uh, with are you meeting up with saber or what what's the deal here well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step backwards for a second and I'm right. gonna grab that last thing because I want to grab all the things. Aha! Okay, so this is some, this is something that I had actually wondered for, uh, for a while. Do you like when you get a larger line like, of like that? Do you make them yours, or do you, um, or or do you neutralize them? Those were, that that was that was something that wasn't clear to me. Kaya,を助け出す。すべてはその後だ。あ、行くぞ、より。Thugs are here, so that's a pretty good bet. Our old buddy Chiamon's hanging around here somewhere. How precisely are you sure of that breakdown? Well, again, he... he had, there's obviously something they need her for. And, uh, although he doesn't know it, 
it's pretty obvious the actual wanted thing is the 15th servant that's residing right. within Kaya. But even if, if it was like a hostage situation thing, that would be why she would be fine. Because, you know, <laughs> you uh, you kill the hostage, uh, all you get is like a really angry guy who's coming up to beat your ass. <laughs> the hostage is already dead. Knowing uh, Shiamon, that would be exactly something he would do. Like, a really angry dude who is now oh so reckless and whatever the fuck. Right? Like, that would be exactly something Chiamon would do. Chiamon's a lot more focused uh, on his end goal than I think a lot of people would give him credit for. So that's nice. Now we do more damage to uh, to shells. Like, we chip shells away a lot quicker. That is genuinely the, mo uh, the most irritating and annoying part of this entire game. So that's a giant upgrade. Yeah, and now we hurt servants more as well. I'm just gonna zoom around. Yep, we unlocked another thing as well. Spells in any stands have a chance to make the enemy drop their guard. That's pretty good. It's like buying exact things. I don't know why. Uh, like I, I was curious about that, and I presumed you uh, you had you had a reason for it. It's just because you didn't you didn't want le uh, leftover skill points, which actually assuages the obsessive parts of my brain. So you know, like I'm, I'm fine with that. A lot of stuff to dismantle when we're finished. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well, like... <laughs> I have no time for ghosts. I have to go. You ain't afraid of no ghosts. That's for damn sure. I must save Kaya from... Thank you. Skeletons. Skeletons. <laughs> I don't know why that was. I'm not entirely certain why that was so funny to me, but I, just, I, I had to stop and hold my face for a minute. Try to imagine Iori saying that. I think it's probably what's funny about it. Is Iori being like, I have to protect Kaya from skeletons. <laughs> That's too stupid. It just said last episode how Iori is not a stupid man, and this is way too goddamn stupid. Please rise. But yeah, uh, we're low. We're low on health, so fire stands basically just like <laughs> remove skeleton. I, like I'm choosing to believe that uh, that a lot of these hits you're taking entirely to empower fire stands, which genuinely I have reason to believe because uh, because when the repost stuff co uh, comes up. You've been really reliable with all of that garbage. <laughs> I have my I have my on moments and my off moments, but it certainly doesn't hurt that uh that the off moments just make me stronger. <laughs> just get really pissed off at yourself, or is that just me? How could this possibly be related to something he ate? Yeah, okay, thank you, Eo. Again, he's not a stupid man! Well, by that same token, servants don't actually need to eat. This is like, this is the big spoiler of like, that Saber has been hiding from Yori all this time. Like, Saber doesn't need to eat any of that shit. <laughs> I mean, I said this in, uh, in the thread, but, you know, like, of like, I at least have become a good enough cook and enjoyed enough food that if I was resurrected as some sort of immortal spirit that did not neither needed to eat nor sleep, I would still probably continue to do both because they feel so good and allow me to keep keep rhythm with my peers respectively. Uh, many servants in Fake Grand Order mentioned that, yeah, they don't really need to eat, but to be perfectly honest, like... Eating feels great, so shut up and feed me. Yeah, basically. And I respect that. You know what? Like, like my, I had a... I had a servant like uh, like this was just like I don't really need to eat, but eating feel uh, feels great. I just be I'd be like, 
We are going to be best friends. I'm going to cook for you every day. <laughs> Fake Granddaughter actually has, like, a lot of servants who, who basically serve as the kitchen staff at Keldia when they're not, like, on, like, combat missions and stuff like that. And that's, uh, it's, it's a veritable who's who of, uh... Of, of um, people who are very good at cooking, including uh, Tamamo Cat. No shit. <laughs> who I still will not explain. <laughs> Tamamo Cat, like, already wrote quite a check for me to unpack. Uh, people have talked about, like, oh, we should definitely do a, um, definitely do an episode where I just show you servants and you guess them. I will probably do that, but only with servants that we have mentioned in this Let's Play, so you will have to guess who Tamamo Cat is at some point. Okay. So please don't forget Tamamo Cat. Tamamo Cat. Because like, it, like, it will be, I'm, there will be an essay. Uh, I am making a mental note, there will be a quiz later, and everybody's go uh, going to see exactly how bad I am at, th uh, at, thinking, at thinking on an immediate basis. Because like I, I feel I feel like I've been generally really reliable on a lot of the of these a lot of the of these these servants here, but a lot of that is the fa uh, is the fact that I have time to think about it. Like like I I process the of these things while I'm while I'm on runs with my dogs. While I'm taking long showers, while I'm cooking, and so like these are hours that I'm thinking about it that most people are otherwise idle, and I guess I still am kind of idle, but it makes me look a lot smarter than I actually am. And speaking of something that you are definitely smart enough to figure out, uh, we are about to learn the name of Lancer. Which, you know, like, we were talking about it the, uh, the other episode, but my guess with her is that it's Joan of Arc. Let's find out. Hmm? Yes. Aha! <laughs> Nailed it! I'm so fucking good at this! Yes, uh, Jean d'Arc, but she's not quite Jean d'Arc. So this is where we introduce the fake concept of the altar, as in... Uh, they are a an alteration to a servant. A, sometimes you you could best describe them as a what if of a uh, of of a servant, and it typically comes about through a corruption or a change of their spirit origin, either during the summoning process or even afterwards. In the case of you know like special corrupting energies and things like that, and this is something that's like in Fate State Nine. Like, this is like a, a thing. And, uh, so this is actually Jean d'Arc Alta. Although, obviously, they'd never refer to her as such, because nobody in this entire setting would have any idea what the fuck that is. And... There is already a Jean d'Arc Alta in Fate Granddaughter, who is in a completely different character and personality and everyone. This one is, like, extremely unique to Fate Samurai Remnant, and she is... She is nothing like that other one, and she is, like, basically just as the, uh, the Fake Granddaughter one is unique to only to Chaldea and Fake Granddaughter, uh, Lancer here is unique to Fate Samurai Remnant and its, and its sorts of things. I wanted to see if I could, like, dodge through that, but I can't. <laughs> I, I would, considering how, uh, how many ground pounds you've dodged through and reposted in, I would not have been surprised. So, typically, Jean... Jeanne d'Arc, uh, or as, you know, Joan of Arc, as, as, as many people refer to her as... Right, like, that's how, that's how we refer to her in English, but obviously, like, her, na her native culture was French, so Jeanne d'Arc is, is the correct way to refer to her in her native culture. Yeah, and of course she is the, uh, the, the maiden who, uh, who managed to, uh, lead, uh, the armies of France against a particularly potent, uh, English invasion, uh, believed, believed to have heard the word of God, uh, she believed that she was, uh, was famous for, um, you know, being quite a excellent warrior in her own right, and also, uh, breaking a holy sword, chasing, uh, prostitutes out of camp one time. It's one of my favorite stories about her. Uh, <laughs> But uh, and uh, but ultimately she was betrayed uh, by the uh, the you know by the very people that she had been fighting for. Well, basically not like the people she'd been fighting for, but basically like some of the elites 
of, yeah, of, the, 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 of the nobility of, Fra uh, of France betrayed her and burned her at the stake as a witch. And that was that was her uh, was her legacy for hundreds of years until the Catholic Church finally went back on it and said, "No, she was uh, she wasn't a witch." And as a matter of fact, like she almost certainly did hear uh, hear the word of God. And today in 2020X, she is not just Jean de Arc; she is Saintess Jean de Arc, patron saint of France. You can let, let like Catholics get uh, get uh, get confirmed and brought in brought into the faith as adults in her name nowadays. Yeah, but uh, she definitely wasn't um she definitely wasn't the kind to use fire. So like, typically when she's summoned and uh, she appears in uh, in in various fate works, I think the first visual like time she was shown in uh was in was in uh was in zero although she's not a character who appears in zero uh another character who knew her as is a servant in that and uh boy howdy is that like a fucking story and a half <laughs> um you know a, a fellow who went on to famously murder a lot of little boys uh <laughs> okay then <laughs> and um but she actually appears more properly in in a different work, uh, which is also like the same work where Astolfo uh, debuts. And, but she is a ruler, and she typically appears as a ruler. When the Grail needs someone to arbitrate disputes, it typically calls on, on Jean d'Arc. Uh, because there's, you there's could, no you one can't better. You do much job. better. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, she was busy, so they had to call for a boss this time. <laughs> <laughs> And the, uh, the fake Grand Order version of, uh, of Jean d'Arc, Alta, is essentially the... Uh, at first you think she's the main villain uh, that's causing all of the problems in the, in the particular story, but she's just an incarnation summoned, again, by that same, you know, everyone's favorite child murderer. Uh, Gilles de Rays, who, uh... Ah, I was gonna say, like, like are, are we talking about specifically a French one? Because there's not many contemporary to Jean d'Arc that, that we, we could, we could pull from there. Yeah, like, it's basically just Gilles de Rays there. But he uses the Holy Grail, like, a servant version of him uses the Holy Grail to summon, uh, to summon, uh, a, a Jean d'Arc that would punish France for what happened to her. Because obviously... She would never dream of wanting to do that uh, in all the depictions. But Gilles de Rays would, ab uh, would absolutely do, uh, do something to punish France on her behalf because Gilles de, Re uh, de Rays is absolutely ruled by the sin of wrath. Something has gone really wrong. Yeah, that's uh, not entirely to him, per se. <laughs> Well, this is this is a Mexican standoff in Japan, then. Mm hmm. セイバー。そしてそのマスター。行きなさい。ま、何死なれては困ります。命を懸けてその
ここは引くカヤは俺が背負うわかったランサーヤツの相手は任せるぞなおいけつプレイズレッツはははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははは Her attacks just feel very samey. She has probably the best, like, sounding Noble Phantasm in the game.、Huh. Uh, Tristesse de la Vierge. The, uh, the, uh, you might remember she has that one attack which sets everything on fire literally fucking everywhere. Right, yeah. That's her other、yeah. Noble Phantasm. She actually will not use that, even if ordered by Chiamon, without the use of a command spell. <laughs> Because it reprises the way she died. Like, I, I wouldn't either in her, in her situation. She has a lot of, like, big flourishing attacks which sort of cover up the screen. <laughs> so it's like. Wildfire and prayer, a prayer of mercy. Jesus, that's on point. Yeah, the, uh. The. the... The Jean Alter、uh, of, of Fate Grand Order is uh, a uh, interesting character insofar as she's,、uh, she's a classic Sundere, but also like a giant Chuni, which basically means is that like, she tries really, really hard to be cool and act <laughs> like, also act like she doesn't like, deeply care about like, the main character. But,、uh, but actually does. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, in, 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 the only reason she could even exist in, in Fake Grand Order is simply because、um, the way that the world works has、so, been so like, utterly fucked with. It's possible for an existence like her to be inscribed in the throne and exist after, like, after the time that was spent sort of in the,、uh, the France singularity. France singularity is definitely a term I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to hear. But, like, I, I'm here for it. Like, that makes sense. This, this version, however, is, is not, none of those things. She's a, she's a more somber, softly spoken.、Uh, she cares a lot about Chiamon, and it does, it does go into exactly, like, like why later on.、Um, but for now, we'll just say that, like, She, she does. She, she's not doing this begrudgingly. Like, she, she won't set a fire to literally everything. <laughs> For no reason. But she absolutely 100% does,、uh, does care. And we'll do what, do,、uh, what else is otherwise asked to see to see Chimon get his wish. I mean, it, it specifically called her out as the corrupted ma、uh, maiden. Which that is. That is a term that is loaded with context, ironically, in both. In both Western and Japanese、uh, writing, in distinctly di、uh, different ways. And consi、uh, considering the. What's the word I'm looking for? Overall sensitivity of. of the,、uh, that I'm, I'm becoming used to with.、Uh, with the, With fate writing, like, I have the distinct impression. Listen to this. Oh. Sorry, I just love the, I love the boom sound as, like,、wow. this beautiful the, light yeah, the, that she has just sinks into darkness. The, the <laughs> freaking sound design on that was brilliant. I told you, she has the best sounding one. Just the way it <laughs> echoed! Good god! Yeah. But Chiumon Ch Ch is, is basically the linchpin of everything about this Shanta Ark altar. It's really kind of funny because, like, the dev said we wanted her in the game, but obviously the Shanta Ark altar that exists in Fate Grand Order is wholly unique. Like, the origins, the manifestation, um. We're in trouble、Son、again. Of a whore. We're, we're in a lot of trouble again. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, Arya has shown, uh, shown up and is clear, uh, clearly getting screwed over, but also it's Arya. Like, who gives a fuck? Uh, so, something funny here, Arya's model has not spawned in. She's supposed to be there and she's supposed to see her animated buffing Archer. I don't know what happened. She, her, model just didn't <laughs> uh, her model will reappear standing on the sidelines when we're fighting Rogue Archer, but for some reason she just didn't appear then. I was like, what, what the fuck's going on? See, there she is. Yeah, there she, she is. She didn't load in for some reason. Why? Why are we? Why are we ignoring her precisely? Like, like we should. We should definitely just go punch her in the face. Like, please, for the love of Christ, go punch her in the face. I think the general thing is, is just like where we'd rather just like get out of here as quickly as possible, and like, it's probably a case of if you turned your back on Rogue Archer, uh, you'd probably regret it. <laughs> sure. Yeah. No. He, he's, I get he's it. He's not just. He's not just like. He's Archer, way he's more aggressive strong. than uh, than he was the first time you fought him. That's for goddamn sure. And he's also received a buff from Arya, so he's actually doing a lot more damage as well. So yeah, his speed and everything is is enhanced a great deal. She's just over there, over there humming like a weirdo. <laughs> it's funny because she like makes poses like dependent on like what's going on. So like when when Rogue Archer is getting hit, she's actually kind of like, oh no. Which I guess you would do if you were getting hit. I mean, you, you'd have, we'd have to experiment. You, you're not exactly in the habit of getting hit after you, you get buffed with, uh, with her malediction sunlight or whatever the hell it is. There's only really like one place in the time in the game, which is like when you first meet her, that it'd probably be possible to see it. I think. I, I hear that so incredibly clearly every time she does it, and it's pissing me off every <laughs> single time she does it. <laughs> Stop! Oh my god! <laughs> She's gonna keep doing it. Like I, I, I keep really because we're gonna keep slapping this. Yeah, this I silly, really want you to kill Rogue Archer as quickly as you can because every time she does that, I feel a fuse blow in my brain. <laughs> There she goes again. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. Like, like a fuse just melted. Like, well, don't like worry. There's only the... going to be one other instance of this later on uh, that we'll have to endure. Uh, we'll probably have to endure like a variation of it later on um, as well. But like, like in New Game Plus. But I'm gonna blow an aggression inhibitor. Like, like I'm like a Starcraft fucking marine over here. Over uh, like, like man, I, like I'm about to blow an aggression inhibitor. <laughs> That's Thank right, you, Saber. Holy <laughs> crap, I appreciate you. <laughs> please, please kill Archer. All right. Well, that's that's the that's the end of that's the end of his. Yeah, blossoms are his shell. Most of his health. Shell, at least. Yeah. yeah. Take him down. Took him oh down with a big God. wave. <laughs> Thank you, sweet, merciful Jesus. Obnoxious, irritating, terrifying. <laughs> Son of a black-hearted <laughs> whore! It can always get worse. If boss shows up, I'm just, I'm leaving. Like I'm just gonna I'm just, I'm just gonna slap my desk and walk off. Why are we doing this question mark? Seriously, like it's <laughs> by the second word, I know it's Musashi. Tei-san たちと川崎大使へ向かう途中、南下してるっぽいバーサーカーを見かけてね。三人がかりで止めようとしたのだけれど、彼戦いの最中に苦しみ出して、港の方に猛然と走ってっちゃったのよ。で、
damn decent W. Mm -hmm. Well, we let, we, we let the charge a few times. It's time for it's time for everybody else to pick up the slack. Also, the two of you have fought plenty. <laughs> yeah. How incredibly show you of you. さて <laughs> He's being modest. <laughs> he's being incredibly modest. He's going to demonstrate just how modest he's being in this very fucking episode, let me tell you something. This is the show you does something completely fucking bug fucking crazy episode. <laughs> just to be clear, show you was... W uh, was a incredibly professional soldier in Romance of the Three Kingdoms, and that set him apart because uh, because in the Three Kingdom uh, Kingdoms era, a vast number of regular line infantry were peasant levies who were usually not very well trained and not very well equipped. So Zhou Yu as a professional soldier and a notably calm mind when it uh, when it came to tactics like was definitely head and shoulders above any common rattle that uh, that would come against Suplex. Suplex. I, will, I will say this it is it is very important to note that he is summoned as an archer see tacticians are also often summoned as uh, as casters as well. We talked about casters. Uh, you know, so there's plenty of other like Chinese tacticians uh, who have been summoned as servants, uh, and they're pretty much all they're pretty much all casters. Uh, Show you is a uh, is is far different in that regard. He's a he's an archer, which I think obviously plays into the the fire arrows. Uh, massacre yeah, the Red Cliffs like, kind of thing. It, it, ha it has to do with one of his greatest moments, and al uh, also, like, historically, he was definitely a known good archer. Like, even out uh, outside, uh, outside of the the story of him we told. Like, like, he was, he won archery contests, he he was, he was a badass with a bow. There's no two ways around it. Yeah, like, and, and, the, and like, the devs would know that. Yeah, because like, they've they've done a lot of their homework. <laughs> yeah, like, like the if there's one thi a thing that as a voracious reader, I absolutely have I have to give to cats who are making these games. They are also absolutely voracious readers. Game recognized game. Now that said, if you ha if you were to summon, for example, Juge Liang. Juge Leong would absolutely get shown up as a caster. Like, there's no and way. He does, he... in fact. Yep. <laughs> Nailed it. Just saying. Uh, two others as well as Shima Yi. Yeah, Shima, uh, Shima Yi, one, uh, one, Shima of, Yi. Uh, one of Sao, uh, Sao Sao's gr uh, like, great stra uh, strategists who, uh, who was a specialist with fire attacks. And then Chen Gong. Chen Gong, right. A, um... Lu Bu's... Uh, yeah, one, uh, one, uh, one of Lu... Uh, one of Lu Bu... Uh, one of Lu Bu's stra uh, strategists who was a master at, uh, at forest combat. He has, uh, he has fun uh, FGO mechanics. <laughs> Yep, so, uh, Masashi's done her bit, now it's time, uh, now it's time to fight. Now it's just like we should lure him south to the port, get the tiger off the mountain, so to speak. I thought that meant we would have to, like, leave the battlefield the first time I played this. No, you just fight him for a bit, and then, uh, you know, and then you, then you handle it afterwards. Crew tactic, per uh, perhaps. 
Sure. Getting the tiger off the mountain is all uh, is also a reference to a complete a completely different um, Chinese uh, Chinese myth. I forget the uh, the name of the gentleman who uh, who did this, but there uh, there was a particular but, uh, like the gist of the legend is um, that there uh, there was a terrible man eating tiger that uh, that was plaguing a, a, a particular a particular village in the. The depths of central China, which, just to be clear for uh, for everybody watching, central China is kind of, is kind of the local equivalent of the American South, like like the kind of hillbillies. They're in the in the middle of nowhere. Chinese civiliza uh, civilization has typically revolved uh, revolved around more coastal areas rather than uh, rather than the central midlands. So when there there's this really particularly troublesome tiger like it is a huge issue so there's this one dude who just uh, just sort of want uh, wanders in hears about uh, about the about the ti uh, the tiger while uh, in the bar and gets ridiculously fucking drunk walks over uh, like walks out into the mountains brings the tiger out of the mountains and murders the shit out uh, out of the out of the tiger while ridiculously drunk. Like, if you can car uh, carry the commentary for just a second, Robokai, I'm 99% sure I have I have this in a file in my desk. Hang on. Pretty sure I can find this. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, that's, uh, like, you, you, you go for it. Yeah, so I am actually was doing a lot better than, uh, than, than I typically would, like, in this fight. Like, I've actually sort of just had Berserker's number here. <laughs> Like a ridiculous amount. I seem to recall this particular fight taking me like way longer the first time I did it, but I, I'm like just absolutely taking this man to clown town. Yes. I've got the I've got this somewhere. Like like I I, li I literally have I have a file on the, on this particular story. Yeah, I, I, I kind of quick googled it as well, and it is like like most of the pings that come off it talk of it. It's one of like the 36 stratagems of the art of war. Uh, it's the 15th one, um, but uh, the actual origins of the story doesn't seem like it. まだ立ち上がってくるとは呆れた眼鏡さだ恐れ入ったよこのまま戦いを続ければこちらが押し負けるが風は吹いたならばあとは火を放つのみ安心するにはいささか早いぞ。マスター、手札を一つ切る許可を。気を見誤るなよ。ああ。力を見せてやれ。アーチャー。背中を押してやる必要もなかったな。豪気かだん。新種かかん。それでこそ我が主だ。
赤壁戦火溶卵毒目を見てもらおうか強戦士<音声> All I was gonna say is that Zhou Yu is damn lucky that was his noble phantasm because chaining <laughs> down Samson didn't work real well for the Philistines. <laughs> Just fucking saying. Neosomuketemokamanzu. <laughs> They make a good team. They, th th they're a cute couple, <laughs> despite the fact that they clearly kind of hate each other. Well, they don't actually hate each other. That's kind of the funny thing. Uh <laughs> that, that's that's the wrong word. You're right. Like like they're very odd couple. They're very complicated. Yeah, they're 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 the Facebook. It's complicated. <laughs> But yes, commanded, you know, empowered by a command spell, the Joyu's reality marble became an absolute domain where his his tactics were law. <laughs> so, you know, anyone who gets stuck in that is gonna have a bad day. So, Yoshiwara's Barsaka was... And yes, Rogue Berserko survived that. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. I can't imagine Dayu is super happy about this situation. Like she's got to be pissed. Mm. Oh, something strange has definitely happened. This is a pretty good observation because. Like, even when he roared at everyone, he wasn't usually doing his usual roar face, you know, so he kind of looked a bit Right, depressed. he was, he was like, he was kind of, he's almost looked bored with it. Something's going wrong. Something's going wrong. それぞれの拠点から離れて神奈川だものとんでもない異常事態だわこれ多くのハグレは斧が紐づく土地から長く離れてしまうと限界を保てなくなるのだったなさて果たしてこの状況誰が仕組んだ It would imply that it's a ruler of some sort 行為の存在だ英月の力なくしては魔術師として従えられない。それを同時に複数操るとなると、よほどの難業であり異業と言えるだろう。I mean, 
Or the only known logical conclusion. Assassin no Orochi o ayatsutte ita. Ayatsuru to ieba Yui mo da na. Shito o ayatsutte. Yeah, you you say Yui does that, but we saw some chinks in that uh, in that theory over the last episode or so. Ah, Musashi's probably about to point that out, huh? Ah, se kaku kaya o ikedori ni shita no ni. So koni tasu no hangure o keshikakeru yimi ga nai. You know you've sunk real low when a berserker Musashi is pointing out the flaws in your logic. Shisho, おきをつけて。風のような人だ。さすが師匠だ。4人であっても丸で変わらない。くずく気ままな。だがま、俺も彼女と同じ意見だ。俺たちは引き続き死亡の正体を探ってみよう。より悪いがお前もお落ち着き
Well, that's particularly funny, considering how casual their conversation was the last scene we saw. Mm -hmm. Although that was, you know, going off to take care of Assassin. This is a different kettle of fish. Right. ただ私にしたがうと言い貴様の願いは叶うとも吉原区外からの女たちの解放英月に願いをかけずとも私は叶えてやろう誓ってくださんすか It's worth noting, in case people haven't been picking it up, is that uh, Dayu is consistently referring to Masashi as Chan. えっと、まあ、そうね。はあ。全く無視しちゃうわ。ごめん、タユ。でもね。あの男は信頼できない。Dayu's <laughs> probably like, yeah, I fucking know. Like, what are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, there it is! There it is! <laughs> <laughs> the, one of the things that's most refreshing about this game is how not stupid so many of these characters are. But, you know, knowing it's a bad idea, knowing that it's a one in a million shot, or, you know, considering the situation she is in, all the women of the area are a one, in. A one in a million shot is still better than a zero shot, which is what she's got without this plot. She's not a mage. She's just got, by coincidence, enough magical cir circuits to have been able to summon somebody who, thankfully, isn't particularly magically taxing on her. And also managed to befriend Rogue Berserker, who does not require any magic from her. I'm certain it doesn't entirely escape Musashi's notice that. Dai, you just said her primary power is deceit, and then she's getting real friendly. But I would never lie to you, Musashi chan. Takatoshi. Hi. Goku. There we go. We finally get a, a name to the non face. Ah, that's the brother he was referring to, too. Great. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yes. So. The Overseer of the Ritual appears to be the one who's fucking around with everything and seems to be the one responsible for the spell. And, uh, well, we don't know that, you know. <laughs> all, our, all our friends and characters have no idea what's coming. And so, uh, yeah, like, it's time to, uh, it's time to get ready to try and figure all that out. Uh, so next time on Fade Samurai Remnant, we go and check in with uh, with a local, with a local rogue servant in our midst to make sure he's doing okay, and uh, see if he can't set us on the right path to give cool guy a complete and utter aneurysm. Oh good, I'm really looking forward to having a stroke on camera. <laughs> I've been the last robot guy. And I have been cool guy. And uh, we'll see y'all next time.